deadline for an encampment of tents to clear out a People's Park in Tacoma. Police moved in today, handing out notices telling people they have 72 hours to get out. Hello again, I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Monique Minglovin. Cairo 7 South Sound reporter Kevin McCarty is there live. He talked with people living in the park who got notices. Kevin? And police started handing out these notices today. It means that all of these tents have to be out of People's Park by Monday afternoon. This move comes months after the city passed an ordinance banning tents in, can in parks overrun by encampments. The notices started going out at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Tacoma police posted them on message boards and placed one at each tent in People's Park, leaving some confused about what they were supposed to do. I don't understand it, really. You don't understand it? But like, why do we have to be at the, out of the park at night, really? Because, like, what if, what if we're sleeping? Tacoma City Council passed an ordinance October 1st banning walled tents in city parks after police told council members the shelters were often used to mask crimes. The city delayed its December 1st deadline until they found shelters they could refer people to once they were told to remove the tents, saying space has since opened up at the Tacoma Rescue Mission and a new shelter at Bethlehem Baptist Church. That space is targeted towards uh, single women, couples, and families. Today's notices angered some in the park. Bunch of bulls <laughs> is what I think of it. Um, they're trying to run us out of the park. I mean, Lois Klump says she won't go to a shelter and she has no plans to leave the park. Um, we're going to protest. I ain't going to go nowhere. Make me. It's I say make me. Now the city says that homeless people can still be in city parks. They can have their belongings in the park while they're there, but they can't have the walled tents and they can't sleep in the parks overnight. Enforcement begins on Monday. Live in Tacoma, Kevin McCarty, Cairo 7 News.